Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and in this video we're going to talk about how to live stream a webinar, add a whole ton more participants without having to spend a lot of extra money on having those expensive webinar packages from GoToMeeting or WebEx. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I am in our virtual set and um, behind me I have our live.ptz optics website which we're going to look at um, to demonstrate exactly how we live stream our webinars. It, it was kind of like a light bulb went off when we were like, oh wow, live streaming technology, video conferencing and webinar technology, why not combine the two? It's not as hard as it might sound and um, it's actually quite easy. So we're going to talk, talk about it. So if you've already got a USB-based video conferencing system and you've got everything you need, it's all just software and you know, YouTube Live from there. Um, you do need to think about CDNs um, and we're going to look at a really cool way to increase your audience. So if you're already hosting these webinars and you notice that you know, GoToWebinar only allows you to have 100 until you have to pay double the price to get 200 or 300. And it's not enough because you've got a big event and you want to have 100,000. You want to have an unlimited amount. Well, what, a lot of those people are view only anyway. So what you can you do is you can use YouTube Live. And we're going to look at that in a second here and how we live stream our events. Uh, we have changed things around a little bit, so bear with me. But this is basically you've got your web conferencing system and then you just add one more computer and you've got your live streaming system. So you t capture that web conference with a frame grabber and then you just stream it out to YouTube Live so that hundreds of thousands of people can watch it. And we've got some tips for you to do that. One of the cool things that you can do is you can use a service called Restreaming.io or Restream.io and what it allows you to do is you send one stream to them then they'll stream it to YouTube Live and Ustream and Hitbox and Daily Motion and all the different live streaming platforms. So you can really grow your audience super fast uh, with a free service called Restream. So as soon as you take leave just that closed circuit webinar and start streaming it out to the world, there's a lot of different options and we have some tips and tricks on that. Um, one of the most important things though is to secure have a good network connection both for the PC that you're doing your webinar on and the PC you're live streaming with. Um, you can do both with one PC, uh, but it, we use two PCs for a reason because it's just more reliable that way until they really get super fast computers to do some of this stuff. It's best to kind of separate um, both, both interests. So let's take a closer look at our website, which uh, demonstrates a wiring diagram of exactly how we do our live streaming. So here's our live, uh, live.ptzoptics.com and you can see here we have a tab called how we live stream. Now I will say that, that this has changed a little bit. So um, I'll try to make mention those changes. Uh, I need to update this document. Uh, but basically, the basics of it are is that you've got a web conferencing PC here and you've got a live streaming laptop over here and there's a connection in between with an HDMI frame grabber. So we split the HDMI, one to your display so you can see what you're doing on the computer, and then another goes to a frame grabber which comes in USB to your laptop, which takes the audio and video and live streams it to YouTube. So that's basically the way it's done, um, but we're, we're adding a few things here, and I'll try to, to, um, to complement them here. We're adding, instead of having this, um, this here, we're actually routing the audio through the HDMI, through the frame grabber, through here to get a higher quality audio. And then what we're doing is we're also taking uh, the video from, we're taking this camera, I'm sorry for this being complicated, and bringing it into here. And then we're taking the video output and streaming it back into YouTube. Does that make, hopefully that makes sense. So what we're doing is we're taking the output which has lower thirds, different things, all of those things that you're adding with the live streaming laptop and we're actually feeding it back into the video conference so everyone in the video conference can see all of that and then we are taking um, instead of connecting the camera at all to the the live streaming laptop we're just connecting it directly to or sorry the um, the web conferencing computer we're, we're actually just going bypassing that because we're sending the video that the finished video instead of the video fra directly from the camera, if that makes sense. And instead of having this audio here, um, what we're doing is 
we're having an audio mixer. So I'm sorry, guys. This, this, I, we, I promise we will release an updated document on this. This system, as it stands, does work. But we found out that uh, routing the audio a little bit differently and then having two headsets um, for the hosts. So just a little earpiece so they can hear the program audio from the far end uh, makes it, makes it an, a better experience. So um, look for more information on that. But this is available today. It does work. It's just that we've come up with some better solutions on how to do that. Um, that full layout. So that's how you live stream a video conference. Like I said, with the, with the camera, you may not need a camera for your web conference because you can actually take the entire output of your system and feed it directly into your, into your webinar. So there's a lot of different ways actually to do this. But the point of this video is to show you that you can and it's not very expensive to do um, and you can dramatically increase your reach uh, with your audience uh, to reach just so many more people than just your live streaming webinar. Now you're going live on YouTube, you're going live on Daily Motion, you're going live on Twitch, Ustream, Hitbox, all these different places so that now all those places are saying, oh look, we've got a live show from this person, we've got a live webinar from that person, and it just increases your audience so, so much that it's definitely worth looking into. We are happy to help. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here's our other videos. And then below, we've got the virtual steps. Thanks, everybody.